What is up my Tickle Me crew, this is Chad here, and today guys, I'm bringing you guys something a little bit different. Today, I'm actually going to be doing a team builder video, and uh, I would like to know if you guys think this would be a cool idea for a series on the channel. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think, and uh, I think it would be a really fun idea if you guys could give me some uh, Pokemon suggestions that I could build a team around. Um, that would be really cool, it would get you guys involved. And uh, it would just be fun for all of us. It would be a nice team effort between you guys and me. But um, now, when I do this, uh, just keep in mind I am not the greatest team builder ever. Um, there are plenty of people on YouTube who are far better team builders than I am. Um, I just like to goof off and have fun. So um, I do feel like I know the basics at least of team building. So if this video helps you guys, then I think I've done my job here. So. Um, whenever you are building a team, you kind of want to already have an idea of the tier that you want to battle in. So, um, for the sake of this team, I kind of want to make a mixed OU team. And um, I kind of want to give my team a little diversity. I don't want to make my entire team OU. Um, I kind of want to reach down into the depths of like NU, RU, um, UU, stuff like that, just to give my team some diversity, just so that you guys don't see the same old shit all the time. Um, and uh, whenever you're building a team, it is a good idea to have at least one Pokemon in mind already that you want to use that you can build a team around. So, for the sake of this video, I'm actually going to build my team around Mega Altaria. And Mega Altaria is OU. Um, and I'm going to try for the sake of this team to use only one OU Mon. So Mega Altaria is this team's OU Mon. Um, so I'm going to try my best to stay out of OU as much as possible. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, let's go ahead and uh, set the level to 50 so that the stats will reflect what they would be in game if you were to use this Altaria. Um, happiness is actually really important here because we're, this is gonna be a physical Altaria. And uh, we're gonna be using the move Return. Return is a move that does more damage the happier your Pokemon is. So happiness needs to be maxed out. Um, shininess, I really like blue Altaria, I don't like the yellow Altaria at all. Um, blue's my favorite color, so we're gonna roll with the non-shiny, uh, female Altaria. Obviously this stuff doesn't matter, it's just preference. Um, let's see here. Ability is going to be Natural Cure. Cloud 9 is okay, but, uh, Natural Cure is actually the better ability here, because if I bring in Altaria and I don't Mega Evolve, and Altaria gets a status condition, I can just switch out and uh, that'll get rid of the status condition. That is, of course, before I Mega Evolve. Um, because when Altaria uh, Mega Evolves, it loses Natural Cure. So um, the item, obviously, we're going to be using the Altaria Knight just so we can Mega Evolve. And uh, yeah, that'll be all fun and dandy. So um, I think let's move on to the EVs and IVs. Now, as far as the nature goes, I kind of want to run a bulky Mega Altaria just to ensure that I live long and hit hard. Um, so I think since this is a physical Altaria, I'm going to roll with a careful nature, which is a plus special defense minus special attack nature. And uh, I'm going to make my HP, I'm going to cap my HP and my special defense. Um, actually, let's see, my HP right here, as you can see, is an even number 182. Um, because Altaria, before it mega evolves, is a flying type, it's actually weak to stealth rocks. So it's actually a pretty good idea to put your HP at an odd number of HP. So I'm going to actually put my HP at 181. Um, and what this allows me to do is it allows me to switch in on Stealth Rocks one more time as opposed to if I had an even HP number. I think um, Altaria can switch in on Stealth Rocks five times as opposed to four times with an even HP number. So. Um, that's pretty important. Now, we do have 12 EVs remaining. You could either put it into attack or defense. Um, I like my bulky Pokemon as bulky as possible, so I'm going to roll with 12 defense EVs. And uh, so, once we have Altaria out on the field, we're going to have 181 HP, 90 attack, 112 defense, which is pretty bulky, um, 81 special attack, but since we're a physical attacker, our special attack doesn't matter at all. Um, we can actually roll with zero IVs and special attack. Not that it matters. Um, our special defense is going to be 172, and our speed is actually a whopping 100 without investment. That's actually pretty damn good. Um, 
Let's actually, I'm actually kind of uh, curious. Let's see what my stats would be as a Mega Altaria. And it looks like we have to set the level back to 50. And um, Altaria Knight. It looks like when you uh, change the Pokemon, you have to like change everything again. So um, careful nature. Max, oh, whoop, <laughs> that's not what I wanted. Uh, do that, and 244 in HP and 12 defense. Okay, so once we Mega Evolve, our attack is going to skyrocket to a whopping 130. That is without investment, guys. That is insane attack without investment. Our defense is going to jump to 132. That's pretty damn good. Um, our special defense is going to be 172. That is massive and uh, speed is going to stay 100. So as you can see, Mega Altari is pretty damn bulky. Um, and I'm actually kind of impressed with this attack power. Um, uninvested. Uh, Return is going to be doing a ton of damage. Plus you do get the Pixelate boost, which turns Return into a Fairy-type move, plus it gives a 30% boost in damage. So um, that's actually going to be a pretty impressive hit. Um, not invested. So. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the move set now. So obviously, return is going to be our attack of choice, and uh, return does more damage the happier our Altaria is. So happiness is maxed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give it Roost, and what Roost does is basically just an HP recovery move. Um, and since this is a bulky Mega Altaria, I kind of I kind of want to run Jesus Christ if I could talk. Um, Cotton Guard. And Cotton Guard raises my defense by three stages, so now that's going to make my Altaria bulky on both sides of the spectrum, physical and special. So that's pretty fucking amazing. Um, as for the final move, I kind of actually want to be cheeky and run Dragon Dance. And Dragon Dance boosts my attack and speed by one stage, so now that's going to patch up my lackluster speed and my attack. So now this thing is going to be tanky and hit like a fucking truck. Um, now, unfortunately, our only move is return, but it is a fairy type stab move. Um, so even though we only have one attack, it's going to be hitting really hard, especially um, if we start setting up with dragon dances. Now, for our next Pokemon, we're going to want something that resists Altaria's weaknesses. Now, Altaria is a dragon fairy type once you Mega Evolve. So that's going to leave you immu immune to dragon type attacks. Um, you're going to be weak to poison, steel, ice, and I feel like there's one more. Poison, steel, ice. Oh my god, I can't remember the other one. I swear, I feel like there's one more. Um, poison, steel for the fairy. Ice. Oh, and fairy, of course, because we're part dragon. Um, so yeah, those four typings, and right away, something that screams, uh, pick me, pick me, is a steel type. Because steel types are immune to poison, um, they resist ice, they resist dragon, they resist fairy, and, uh, of course they resist steel. So, a steel type on this team would be fucking incredible. Um, so let me scroll down a little bit. Um, I want to kind of get out of OU, so let's pick something that's not in OU. Um, let's see here, what could we pick? Um, Empoleon actually wouldn't be bad. Um, let's see. I kind of want to dig a little deeper, like I want to use some interesting Pokemon. Um, ooh, Bronzong! Bronzong would actually be fucking amazing, actually. Um, I'm actually really considering Bronzong, because Bronzong can set up Reflect and Light Screen. That would make my entire team bulky as hell. Um, Bronzong would be fucking amazing to have. Um, so let's scroll down a little bit more. Uh, Magneton would be pretty cool, especially with uh, Analytic, or maybe even Magnezone. But I feel like I use uh, Magneton and Magnezone a little too much. I want to try to use some Pokemon that I either have never used competitively or I rarely use them. So um, that does limit lim limit. Oh my god, I can't talk. That does limit me a little bit, but uh, 
I think it'll be fun in the long run to use some really interesting stuff. Um, so I've been scrolling around a little bit, and I think I have decided I'm actually going to roll with Bronzong. Um, just because it's a really cool Pokemon, um, and it can set up screens. Now, what tier is Bronzong in? I can't remember. I feel like it's in... Alright, well, we can just type in Bronzong. And, uh, Bronzong would actually be a really good member to this team. Um, it's typing, resists, like I said, fairy, steel, um, ice, and, um, it is immune to poison. So, those two have amazing synergy. Um, Bronzong is weak to ground type attacks. Uh, if you give it levitate, or, sorry, if you give it heat proof or heavy metal, um, it's also weak to fire type attacks, which Altaria, before it mega evolves, is a flying type, so it's immune to ground. Plus, being a dragon, it actually resists fire type attacks. Plus, most fire type attacks are special, and uh, this is a specially bulky Altaria. So, those two synergize really well, actually. So, um, I think we are going to roll with Bronzong. Again, we're going to set the level to 50. Happiness doesn't matter here. Um... As far as the item goes, I think I want to give it the Light Clay. And uh, Light Clay just increases the duration of Light Screen and Reflect. Um, I think it makes it 8 turns instead of 5 turns, so um, we're going to run Light Screen. Um, reflect. And basically, Reflect increases my team's defense, my entire team. And a light screen increases my entire team's special defense. Um, so those are really two really good supportive moves to have. Um, as far as my other moves, um, Gyro Ball is a pretty decent move. Um, Ancient Power could be cheeky, especially if I get those uh, stat boosts. But um, I think what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to roll Stealth Rocks. Uh, because every time my opponent switches out, they're going to take some damage. Plus, it'll help with Pokemon like Talonflame or Charizard. It'll cut their health uh, HP in like half or whatever every time they switch. So that would be really nice to have. Um, as far as the final move, um, I kind of want to use one of my favorite moves in the game. Just because my friend Tits is in love with this move. I kind of want to roll with Explosion. Um... Because Explosion has one of the highest base powers in the game at like 200. Um, so like if Bronzong gets really low health, I can just click Explosion and go ham. Um, so I think we're going to roll with that Light Screen Reflect, Stealth Rocks, and Explosion. Um, I think we're going to roll with that. That is going to be a really bulky Mon, and uh, it's going to be a pain in the ass to deal with. Both of these Mons synergize really well together. Um... Now, as far as EVs, I think I'm going to go with... I think I'm going to make this my defensive wall, since Altaria is my specially defensive wall. So I'm going to run um, max HP. Uh, actually, I'm going to pull an Altaria here and run 244 in HP just to give my HP an odd number. Um, let's see. We're going to run max defense. And... I guess put the rest in special defense. We could also put it in attack, but uh, it really doesn't matter here. I don't think 12 points in attack would do too much. Um, as far as the nature, let's see. Uh, we need a defense nature. Now I could run Impish, which would be minus special attack um, plus defense, but uh, I feel like running a relaxed nature would be more beneficial in the long run. Especially if I run against opponents using like Trick Room. So I'm going to go ahead and give my Bronzong zero IVs in speed. And uh, I think I'm going to run a relaxed nature. Which uh, is minus speed plus defense. So that'll help me out in the long run if I come across like a Trick Room team or something. Um, you could also, like I said, use a uh, an Impish nature which basically does the same thing you would just run uh, max IVs and uh, speed. But uh, I really like the way this team is coming together. Uh, they synergize really well. Now, as far as the ability, Bronzong has two really good abilities, Levitate and Heatproof. Basically, uh, Heatproof just makes fire type attacks do half the damage, 
and levitate makes you immune to earthquake um i do feel like earthquake is a lot more common than fire type attack so i think i'm gonna stick with levitate um for the sake of this team now bronzong is weak to fire as we said earlier it it uh also is weak to ground but levitate makes it immune unless they have mold breaker which uh would kind of suck for us but um let's see does bronzong have any other weaknesses it has dark weakness um i'm trying to think what other weaknesses does bronzong have i think dark and ghost are the only other two that i can think of so we're gonna have to build our team around these two um hmm i think a really bulky water type would help us out here and uh i'm really liking swampert like maybe a salt vest swampert or something like that Ooh, i just thought of another pokemon i really want to use i don't think i've ever used it competitively i'm not even sure what tier it's in um lapras lapras is fucking amazing um i think i want to run a salt vest lapras um this team is going to be insanely bulky but um, I tend to use Bulkymons just because I don't want Pokemon that die really easily. So once again, we're going to set our level to 50. Happiness doesn't matter. Shininess doesn't matter. Um, the item, we're going to run Assault Vest. Um, pretty much everything else is fine. Alright, so let's move on to the EVs and IVs. Obviously, the IVs can stay the same. Uh, max 31. Um, let's see, do we want to run a specially defensive na you know what, no. Let's run a modest nature because that's, uh, plus special attack. That'll just help Lapras hit really hard. So, modest nature, that's plus special attack, minus attack, but, uh, Lapras is a special attacker rather than a physical attacker, so that doesn't matter. Um, we're gonna run a healthy dose of HP. Um, maybe there. Yeah, 235 HP looks pretty good. Um, we're going to run max special attack. And I think we're going to put the rest, since we're assault vested, that's going to patch up our special defense. I think we're actually going to put the rest in physical defense. Um, so 236 HP, 20 in defense, and 252 in special attack with a modest nature. So this Lapras is going to be really bulky. It's able to take hits and uh, dish out some serious damage um let's see abilities water absorb shell armor hydration um hydration would be good if i wasn't using a salt vest uh shell armor is actually pretty decent it uh makes your opponent not able to hit you with a critical hit but critical hits are kind of rare so i kind of want to go with water absorb um so if i ever predict my opponent to go for like a water type attack um I will actually get some HP back by switching out into Lapras, so that would actually be pretty good here, um, especially since this Lapras doesn't have leftovers for recovery. So I think we're going to roll with Water Absorb. Now as far as moves, uh, Freeze Dry is a, I feel like Freeze Dry or Ice Beam is a must. Um, and Oops, did I spell it wrong? Why am I putting a D? I can't type, I swear. Um, freeze dry or ice beam is pretty much a must here and freeze dry is really cool because it actually hits water types super effectively um, as far as the next move um, I feel like let's run surf for stab and Jesus I can't spell today um, let's run thunderbolt for coverage because surprisingly Lapras gets Thunderbolt for some reason. And uh, actually this is really good coverage. Bolt Beam, um, Ice Beam, and Thunderbolt have really good synergy with each other. Um, that actually works out really well in Surfer coverage. Um, as far as the final move, Lapras, I mean, Lapras has okay coverage, but it, it could definitely be better. I feel like... I feel like I should throw something really cheeky on there, so I'm actually going to run Ancient Power. Um, that will basically smack Talonflame and Charizards for super four times super effective damage. 
Um, plus, Ancient Power has a 10% chance to boost all of your stats. How amazing would it be if I use Ancient Power and get a stat boost to all of my stats? That would be fucking incredible. Um, so Ancient Power for coverage and that 10% chance to boost all my stats. Um, that's a little cheeky. It's a little gimmicky, I will admit. Um, but that would be fucking hilarious if uh, I could actually pull that off. And Assault Vest helps patch up my special defense here. And some defense investment to help me take uh, physical defense better. So we actually have two special defense walls here and a physical defense wall. Um, now Lapras is weak to electric type attacks. I think it's weak to rock as well, which uh, Bronzong takes care of. Um, Altaria, once it mega evolves, is actually it actually resists electric being a dragon type. So this team actually synergizes pretty well. Um, you know what? I just thought of a Pokemon I really want to use. And uh, this is a bit of a throwback, just because I haven't used this guy in so long. It's such, it's like such a weird Pokemon to use. Like most people use its evolution, but um, I kind of feel like throwing Lilip on this team, um, and that would be another defensive wall. So yeah, let's rock out with Lilip. Um, a lot of people use Cradily, but uh, Eviolite Lilip can definitely pack a wallop. So. Um, Let's throw Eviolite on here. Let's make the level 50 real quick. Um, the ability Suction Cop, uh, Suction Cops, Suction Cups is uh, not really that good. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Storm Drain. It works a lot like Water Absorb. If I get hit by a Water type attack, um, then I regain HP. So um, Lily is a fucking defensive monster. Um, let me check my spread real quick. Um, I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I'm back now, and uh, I just had to check something. I wanted to see the exact spread that I use on my Lilip uh, in-game. So, I actually run a bold nature. I couldn't remember uh, what nature and what EVs to give this. So, bold nature. So that is a plus defense minus attack nature. Um, this Lilip is so damn bulky. Um, we're gonna run with 224. Four, I believe HP um, 196 defense there we go and uh, the rest in special defense so this team is just bulk the team <laughs> um, this team is gonna be really fucking incredibly hard to take down um, so with Eviolite our defenses are going to go up by 50% so 134 plus 50% and 118 plus 50% plus our HP is uh, 169 for the lulz and uh, yeah this little leap is going to be a monster I can already tell um, I've used this guy a couple times and it always puts in the finest of work um, here's the set that I run on my little leap I run toxic um, recover uh, giga drain and what was the other move oh ancient power again um i know some people are going to be like why are you running two pokemon with ancient power but uh again it's just it's for the lulz this is not like a serious team whatsoever but um i just feel like using the leap for some reason and uh i already explained ancient power has that 10 percent chance to boost all my stats so um, if Lilip or my Lapras get that uh, Ancient Power boost, it's a wrap. <laughs> um, but yeah, oops, did it not go through? Let's see. There we go. But yeah, uh, Lilip and Lapras on the same team, these two are going to be monsters. Um, now, another Pokemon, let's see, another type that would work well with my team um, I think Bronzong and Lilip are both weak to fire, so something that is either immune to fire type attacks or either resists fire type attacks. Um, let's see, what is that ability that absorbs fire type attacks and makes you stronger? I think it's uh, Flash Fire. I wonder if we can search that. Um, okay, well, here we go. So Entei gets Flash Fire. Um, Chandelure gets Flash Fire, Arcanine gets Flash Fire, um, 
Typhlosion. Uh, you know what? I never use Typhlosion. I'm going to throw a Typhlosion on this team. So let's set the level to 50. Happiness, max. Not that it matters. Um, we're going to set the ability to Flash Fire, which is released now, thankfully. Um, as far as the item, I'm going to give it Choice Specs because Typhlosion's already fast. So there's really no reason to run Choice Scarf. Um, so we're going to give it Choice Specs. That's going to make me hit really fucking hard. Um, let's give you a Timid Nature, which is a plus speed minus attack nature. Um, let's see. Our HP's already an odd number, so we don't have to put any points in HP. So let's go ahead and uh, give Typhlosion max speed and max special attack. Wow, 161 special attack plus the choice uh, specs. That is going to hit fucking hard. Um, and as we can see, our special defense is a little bit higher than our regular defense. I'm going to give the last four points into physical defense. So um, this Typhlosion is basically just meant to come in, hit hard, and get out. Um, while not taking too much damage, so um, I cannot wait to use Typhlosion. Fun fact, Typhlosion was actually my very first Pokemon that I ever got to level 100 when I was a kid. Um, I played Pokemon Silver version, and uh, Typhlosion was my starter, obviously, and uh, I got it to level 100 um, in Mount Silver, about to face Red. So, fun fact there. Um, as far as the moves, uh, I'm not going to go with uh, Eruption, just because I feel like Eruption is a waste of a slot, especially if my opponent gets like Stealth Rocks up. I'm going to be taking like 25% damage every time I switch in, so I'm just going to run Flamethrower because it's, uh, it's reliable. So Flamethrower, move one. Um, let's see, for coverage, let's run Extra Sensory, because for whatever reason Typhlosion gets that. Um, let's run Hidden Power Grass for the bulky water types like Swampert or Quagsire. And uh, for Grass, I think the IVs need to be like 30. And I'm going to go ahead and change my uh, attack IVs to 0. Um, it's always a good idea for your special attackers to make their attack stat 0. So for like Lapras, let's go ahead and make it 0. And uh, Lilip, let's also make her uh, special attack zero. And the reason for that is uh, whenever you're confused, you hit yourself with a physical attack. Or if your opponent uses a move like, um, oh god, what is it called? Oh my god, what is it called? Hold on. Let's see. It starts with an F. Oh my god, what is it called? I cannot remember... Oh my god, what is it called? Foul Play! Right there. Um, if your opponent uses Foul Play on you, it'll do less damage to you because they're using your physical attack against you. Um, so, for your special attackers, it's just a good idea to lower your special attack as much as possible. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and do that to all of my Pokemon. Yeah, we already did that, so... Um, yeah. Now, as far as... Wait, let's see. Are the IVs right for HP grass? I think that's right. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll make sure that I check it in-game. But, um... As far as the final move... Um... I feel like Focus Blast is a must. A uh, must. Just for coverage. Um, Focus Blast does have a wicked 70 accuracy. And uh, that can be unforgiving at times, but I feel like that uh, move set right here gives Typhlosion the best coverage. Um, so now, so far, we've got five Pokemon. Our last Pokemon, um, it needs to be something that really helps out our team. And uh, I'm kind of feeling like we have kind of a ground type weakness. And uh, I feel like throwing on a fighting type with Ice Punch. Um, because we don't really have that much ice coverage. We do have Lapras with Freeze Dry, but um, I feel like having a Fighting type with Ice Punch would be really good. Let's see. Let's search Ice Punch. Okay, we can't do that. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, I would use Hitmonlee, but 
I use Hitmonlee a lot already. Um, Infernape would be a decent choice if I didn't have Typhlosion. Wait, instead of Hitmonlee, let's run Hitmonchan because I never see anybody use Hitmonchan. Oh my god, we are using Hitmonchan. I never see this thing used. So we're going to set the level to 50. Um, as far as stats go, we're going to go with an Adamant Nature. I actually have a set in mind for this guy. Um, so we're going to go max attack, max speed, and uh, our HP is already odd, so we're going to give one more point into defense. Um, I actually have a set in mind for this guy. Uh, as far as the ability goes, Keen Eye, it, ma it makes it so our accuracy can't be lowered. That's not like that big of a deal, but Iron Fist, this increases the power of punching type moves by like 20%, so Iron Fist is definitely the way to go here, especially if we're packing Ice Punch. Um, and as far as the item goes, I let's see, what item do I want to give you? Um, you know what, I... Let's see, do I have leftovers on anybody? Uh, I do not. Um, we could run leftovers. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna run Life Orb and Drain Punch. Yeah, let's do that, because Life Orb gives me a 30% boost in damage, plus the Iron Fist is gonna give me 20%, so that's a 50% boost in damage. Um, and I feel like I can't pass that up. Um, so we're gonna run Life Orb with Drain Punch. And Drain Punch will just help um, recover HP if we get hurt. And uh, the Hitmons actually surprisingly have decent um, natural bulk in the special defense side. So um, I definitely can take a special hit, I think. But uh, I need to watch out for, obviously, physical attackers. But uh, let's see, we're going to run Drain Punch. Ice Punch is a must on this set. Um, we could run Mock Punch. And uh, Mock Punch actually wouldn't be a bad idea, but the set that I'm actually thinking of running is actually an Agility Hitmonchan. So Mock Punch might not be the greatest idea since our speed is going to be boosted anyway. Um, I kind of want to run Fire Punch for coverage. Um, we could run Fire Punch or Thunder Punch, I guess. Or or Mach Punch. So either one of those three, but uh, I feel like Fire Punch gives us the best coverage, and obviously I already said our final move is going to be Agility. And that raises our speed by two stages, so the idea behind this set is to bring in Hitmonchan on something that will force my opponent to switch out, and then as they switch out, go for Agility, raise my speed, and sweep with Hitmonchan with Iron Fist and Life Orb boosted punching moves. Um, I feel like that is definitely the way to go. Um, I really like the way that this team uh, ended up. Um, I feel like it synergizes pretty damn well. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Again, um, what do you think of this team and would you like Team Builder to be a, a new series on the channel? And uh, give me guys, give me guys, give me uh, suggestions for Pokemon you guys would like to see in future team builders. But yeah, this is going to be the end of this video, guys. Um, I love you guys, and I'll try to get some battles with this team. And uh, I guess we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I don't get destroyed. But um, like, favorite, subscribe, comment, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links as always in the description below. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video.